Hey fellas, what's going on? Dale here. I just want to do a quick little video here. I should give you an update on my Chevy Cheeseburger build. Uh, I guess you're probably wondering what the deal is with the picture there. Just thought I'd sh share this with you. My wife uh, found this picture and she came running to me saying, Oh, this is you, this is you, this is so you. So uh, I printed it off, kind of have it in the shop here. So kind of my, uh, as a motto. Uh, you could probably throw in, uh, a good hard day's work in that list there. Like my, uh, dear old grandmother used to say, a good hard day's work builds character. But, uh, anyhow guys, that's enough of that. Uh, but this is so true. I guess you could say uh, that could be my answer to uh, who am I. But uh, anyhow, guys, I'll uh, let you see what I got going on here. I got a couple of projects on the go here. First, we'll show you uh, the cheeseburger build. There's what I got so far. I got the flames on. I got the bed decal on. Um, flip it over, got the chassis painted underneath, uh, um, just been working on the motor here, just doing a little work on that, getting it painted up, that's the motor, uh, I'm gonna build, uh, Gonna be doing the Chevy Cheeseburger solder exhaust. You gotta have the Cheeseburger signature exhaust on a Cheeseburger tribute build. So yeah, I'll be building the, the solder exhaust. Uh, I'm gonna be painting the, the exhaust white. But there's my motor. Uh, that's my rads. Uh, this is seat for my interior. And, uh, it's going to be two-tone green and white. And the rest of the truck here. I got my dash here. I cut, uh, cut the gauges out of the kit one. And I found another dash. It was in a pile of parts there. So I cut the gauges out of it and uh, fit them in. So, got to get going on that, finish that up. Um, there's the rest of my panels over there. Uh, I did have this one all painted. But, uh, I ended up throwing it in the pond. I didn't like the way I had it laid out, the green and the white. I, the paint it turned out excellent, but uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't liking it. So I'm not too sure which way I might go. I might just do this pad in here green and do this pad in here green and leave the rest of it all white. Um kind of undecided on it. <clears throat> or I just might leave the panel. Or I might just do the bottom pad in here green and leave the rest of it all white. I'm not too sure yet. I'm still battling with that. But other than that, it's uh, looking pretty good, I think. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm loving the stance. I'm loving the look. Uh, old school. Yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I'm really liking this one. Anyhow, guys, let me spin you around here, show you what else I got going on. Uh, that's uh, the Camaro build over here. Uh, not much, not much going on with that. I just got it, uh, just got it, everything all primered, sitting there ready to go. Start throwing some paint to it. Uh, this is the color the Camaro is going to be. 
but uh, I'll show you what color it is here. This is for you, Butch. You were wondering what color this is. It's a uh, dupe of color, perfect match, and it is dark cherry metallic. You know, I used uh, uh, used this a couple of times, this stuff, and uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm re I really kind of like it. It's uh, starting to grow on me, but yeah. Uh, uh, that's what color the Camaro is going to be with uh, the black stripes. So, yeah, I think that's uh, going to turn out pretty good. But, anyhow, guys, that's pretty much where the Camaro is. Just, you know, just kind of stalled out. Well, not really stalled out, but, uh, you know, it's just, just in primer, not much progress. Because I've been kind of sidetracked with a new, uh, another project. I decided to tackle. Decided to step out of my box and, uh, take on something more challenging. And, uh, give it a go, see what would happen. See how, see if it turns out or not. But, uh, anyhow guys, I'll show you my third project here I got going. There she is, guys. There's my third project I'm on to. I decided to, uh, try and tackle building a complete, uh, tube chassis car. I'm using this, uh, 71 Duster. Um using this to uh, give this a go, give it a try, see how it turns out. Uh, having a lot of fun. I'm actually uh, really enjoying doing this. It's kind of taken over my, taken away from my other two projects. But, yeah, I figured I'd uh, give it a try, see how it turns out. Come along good so far. Oh, the corner came off. Need a little more glue in there. But yeah, anyhow, guys, that's that's what I got going here for this. Uh, there's the. Rims and tires I'm going to be using. Uh, four link and front suspension and that are going to be coming from uh, this uh, Chevy Pro Sportsman here. Uh, yeah, I bought this kit used, and there's uh, there's I, I the guy told me it was complete, but uh, you know. Once you get in looking and you notice, oh, this piece is missing and that part's missing and, oh, look, this this chrome piece is gone. So, uh, rear end and fore link and uh, front suspension, motor, exhaust, probably all come out of this kit. And uh, we'll see how this all turns out and... Uh, if it turns out good, I'll, uh, uh, you know, I'll grab another, grab another body and, uh, build up another tube frame and maybe I'll go all out on that one and order in a bunch of stuff from, uh, Dirt Modeler, brackets and four links and all that kind of stuff and see how, uh, you know, go all out and, but, uh, Yeah, anyhow guys, that's uh that's all I have going. Just figured I'd do an update and show you what's going on. Gotta go to this corner back down. Popped off on me, but
Yeah, anyhow guys, that's uh That's pretty much her. I'll uh Maybe my next update I'll uh, have the body on and maybe I'll have the rear end in and give you a better uh look at it. I'm not too sure I'm gonna be using this actual body. I may have to go get another uh may have to actually go get a duster kit. Um it was a glue bomb kit I bought and once I tore into this bag and started looking there's no front bumper. It's just the grill, unless I can find uh, uh, another bumper, rip something off another uh, parts kit or something that'll that'll work. Anyhow, guys, that's uh, that's my update. That's all I got for you. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, trying to catch up and everybody's vids and whatnot. There's some some nice builds going on. You know, looking forward to seeing all these uh, Chevy Cheeseburger builds. It's going to be some nice stuff, I think. But, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, tell me what you think. I'll give the truck a little spin around here. Turned out really good. Motor. Yeah, this should look really nice when it's all done. But anyhow, guys, like I said, there's another another peek at that, uh, the Camaro. Like I said, it's just sitting there in black primer. Maybe you can get a better look at that. Put it over here in some light. You might get a better eye. There you go. There's the color it's going to be with the uh, black stripes. So, yeah, anyhow, guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm going to cut this off now. It's going on 12 minutes. Probably uh, take me forever to upload it. But like I said, I hope you're all doing well. Look forward to seeing all your Chevy builds and see some updates and what you're up to. So you guys all take care and uh, we'll catch you all later.